Welcome back, one and all, yet again, to my Ramza-only Final Fantasy Tactics run. Been a while. It's been a while, ladies and gentlemen. Been about three months or a little more since I posted anything on this run. Uh, rest assured, it is not abandoned. Um, I got married at the end of uh, February, and so... The last several episodes uh, I had pre-recorded prior to the to the wedding, and I started uploading them uh, periodically. And um, the last three or four I recorded right before the wedding and posted uh, subsequently. I think I might have got some postings into March. I don't even remember. Uh, but I ran out of recordings, and as you can see, uh, my last game save, 15, 17, 12. That was right after Limbury Castle, um, which to my mind is the hardest battle of Chapter 4. It's the hardest battle at least to solo, because uh, you got the vampire, you got the two demon assassins. Uh, it's real tough, real tough. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be through this. I'm very rusty. I haven't played this game in about three months, um, or more actually, since February. But um, I, have, I have pretty good faith. I want to thank my one new subscriber. That's awesome. Uh, no doubt hanging on to see if I, if I post anything. Subscribing to see if I post anything new. Uh, well, here it is. Something new. Uh, and I suspect they are also the one who commented that this run is very doable. And I, yes, I agree. Um, and they also commented that I need to figure out a strategy for the Zalbag fight coming up, and I totally agree. I feel like it's going to be uh, similarly difficult as the Elmdor fight, but I honestly can't remember how hard it is because, like, the last time it was really hard for me, I was in the fourth grade or maybe fifth or sixth grade, I don't know how long ago it was. Uh, it was the first time I fought it and was not prepared for the vampire effect and all that stuff. Um, obviously in this, I, I learned in the Eldor fight, if you, if you get the vampire um, uh, status effect on you, you are counted as dead and it, it instantly ends the game when you're a solo player. So uh, definitely going to have to go into that with the 108 gems accessory to, to immune the undead status effect. But, man, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we got to make our way west to Igros Castle and have a little showdown with our brother first. Our elder brother, that is to say. Um, Dice Darg. Man, it's been forever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend a little bit in this, in this time in the uh, menu system. Uh, checking this out. Gosh, what am I doing? I've got guts because because that's the trick. If you use Scream especially, it's going to add a lot of stat buffs. Um, speed, Brave, Physical, Magical Attack Power all in one shot. Um, previously I've been doing Yell and Accumulate for the speed and the power boost. Um, I did that for the Wygraph difficulty spike when you fight Wygraph. And Velius is... Uh, is Luca V demon. Good grief. Um, definitely gonna stay as a monk. Definitely gonna stay as two swords. I remember in the recent times I opted for auto potion. Gotta go with auto potion because the monk, I do like the monk ability and I can't see it because it's Master Beffa going like this. You can see it. Um, the monk ability of HP restore is nice. When you got a full party of five characters um, with HP Critical Restore, it's really nice because it saves you on potions. You don't have to stock up every couple of battles, but uh, yeah, with solo, it's it's really hard. Uh, you just have to go back to my melee agile fight to, to see exactly how hard that was. Um, I really should have changed it before that fight, but I, I muddled through. And I got to the desert and finally was like, oh, no, I got to Bethla Garrison, I think. I even got through the desert. I got to Bethla Garrison and was just too much. We had the archers and the ninja. Too, too much. Um, but let's see. 
really, it's either guts or it's power break. And I decided I don't want to power break. So yeah, we're just going to leave it as that. Um, and let's move on to Egros. Ever since I was a little kid, I never moved more than one city at a time because for fear of random encounters. Not that I'm going to save scum. I'm going to save if I make it through without an encounter, but if I get an encounter, I'm just going to I'm just going to fight it. Uh, no save scumming, no reloading if I don't get a uh, an encounter the way I want it. Where did he escape to? You, search over there! He was wounded trying to escape. He must still be near. Olan, oh, are you okay? What an awful wound. Be strong. Ovilia, your highness, I must tell you. Don't speak. Please, listen to me. My stepfather, Orlando, didn't murder Lord Goltana. Suspected of conspiracy, my stepfather escaped Bethla with Ramza Beolv. Now he's fighting to stop the High Priest's evil plot. I trusted Uncle not to start any rebellious movement. No good. The door won't open. Highness, are you safe? Please, open this door! Then who? Who killed Lord Galtana? It was... Your Highness, are you alright? Here he is! You there, leave this room. Huh? I said, leave this room! B but I'll not say it again. Yes. Please, don't be rough on Olan. Such a foolish thing you did, Olan. You traitor. Oh, please. You know you wanted this too. Look around. See anyone who's really saddened? You should thank me for killing your father. Now nobody be no <laughs> you should thank me for killing your father. Now no one nobody will be after him. Stop that nonsense. Those N's and D's and W's. Why? Why did you do such a thing? I told you I'd make you uh, I told you I'd make you into a real monarch. You liar. You're just trying to use me. You don't trust me. Well, Ovelia? I'd like to trust you, but I must talk to Olan. Go to your room. Please, be gentle with him. Okay, I promise. I don't care. All I wanted was to clear my stepfather. Do it in one death blow. What are you talking about? I can't have you dead. What am I worth to you alive? You'll work under me. Ha ha ha. Don't be a fool. I refuse, even if it means death. You cannot refuse. I'll bring down the Hokuten and build Ovelia's kingdom. Of course, I'll kill the High Priest. I'm not his dog. Are you serious? What the hell? I'm sure you know I'm right. What I'm planning to do is completely justified. A former squire, now in control of knights and restoring order to the world. It's easy to understand that uh, this is the hero the people have been demanding. For that, you're going to take advantage of everything? Is that wrong? Well, 
What's the matter? Want to kill me? I know the high priest sent you as an assassin. And if I betray you, you'll kill me, right? Go on, stab me with that dagger. What's the matter? Go on. If you don't kill me, I'll kill you. <sighs> okay. Still rusty on the reading, too. <laughs> it appears. This way. Mr. Wait. Father, come here. I'd like to uh, I'd like you to see something. This. Do you know what that is? Of course, this is moss fungus, a mushroom. Its poison isn't that deadly, though. No wonder. Mister, we'd best be going. Why are you so, so why are you so scared? Don't you know? Moss fungus only grows on corpses, and tombs with moss fungus corpses are major bad luck. They say moss fungus corpses mean the end with that family's generation. Okay, you may go now. <laughs> Thanks, mister. You must keep this a secret. I will. Father. Let's save, because we don't want to watch those again. In the off chance that I have to reload. Like I was saying, I'm not going to save scum, but if I die, I die, and I'll have to reload. So... Uh, just there, it's fine. Very rare that I ever fight in this place. I don't believe the swamp is poisonous like Ziggler's swamp is. Check out this archer, see what kind of abilities he has. Nothing but defend. He's got a nice bow, and the flash hat's nice too. Uh, let me see. Speed one. Do I have one of those already? I think I do, but obviously I don't have it equipped because he's a monk. My distance. Let them come to me.
dice critical. Otherwise, he wouldn't have died. Well, speaking of dying, though, if he's uh, since he's undead, when his counter gets down to zero, there's a chance he'll reanimate, which is always annoying. I thought about running away, but I figure if I wait, my turn will come around sooner, and I should get another shot on the archer. take a shot as he runs but I'm not too worried about that and the other guys are gonna stay in the line for me well that one did anyway probably strong enough to double shot that um, bowl and I'll see if I can take the other guys out sooner too Really, I'm going to try to take out the archer and then get anyone else in the path as well. Good. And now the bull would definitely be in range of uh, double tap kill. So I got the dual wielding monk. He might be the last one I kill, because I'll, I'll probably just pick off the other guys in the line. Auto potion is brilliant, but it is expensive. That's already several that I've used. Not that I'm too worried about the money pretty cheap when you only have to outfit one character for battle. Lucky there's no red uh, mind flayers or squid larkins, whatever they are, because uh, they can cause berserk status and confused status, which both are pretty nasty to deal with. And that guy reanimating. Uh, I'm just gonna kill him last of the ones that are remaining. Get that chest. Be nice to have a little souvenir from the archer. my bow or the flash hat although I'm pretty sure I've got a stock of flash hats because I, I think I stocked up on them um, but 
back when uh, I was gonna get uh, the shell bus stab, and I was I was outfitting myself as a as a squire with the Excalibur blade, which is not a bad idea. Generally, it's it's good because you got the auto haste, but these guys reanimating jerks. Two turns away. Might be another turn yet. And uh, now I got the movement ability. Well, that was good for a level or two. Not that I'm trying to level. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm so rusty, I haven't even really overviewed the rules of this thing. So, generally, I'm trying not to over-level. I'm trying to basically go as, as quickly as possible. I'm not, I'm not grinding. Uh, if I wanted to, I could go to, I could go grind and then go to Zekla's Desert and uh, change myself into a bard, level back down to one, and then change back into a, like a ninja for the speed bonus and level up to 99 again as a ninja and essentially you, you can get infinite stats um i'm not gonna do that um because you know you level down and back up again yeah, you get the the bonus to your attack or your hp your mp your speed uh that is the difference between the class you level down in and the class you level up in um I just i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna level up to 99 uh, I'm just going to try to make it as low level as I can. So right now I'm level 52. Um, not going to go any any more than that. Uh, any more than what I naturally get through random encounters or um, or just you know story missions where you you earn XP from fighting. Uh, he is earning all the XP from all the battles because he's the only one there. So he will level quite a little, but, um, yeah, we're not, we're not power leveling, not grinding, the only time I grinded after chapter one to get anything was the auto potion, and that I only did one battle to get it, um, and if anything, grinding as a chemist is a disadvantage because their stat gains are so poor. Zirakyle Falls. See, I need to get rid of the Ariman and the Black Chocobo. Uh, the Ariman can petrify me in one shot. Black Chocobo's got a real strong ranged attack, although with auto potion it should really be no deal. And they're gonna line up on the bridge for me, I think. I'm just going to sit and wait for him to come to me. The bobcats are, or the panthers, whatever you want to call them, they're, uh, they're weak to earth elemental. The 
ferryman should fly right in front of the bridge. And I will take all three of them in one, although I can't finish them in one. But I think I'm gonna... If I wait, I should get a turn before the black choker ball. Nope, miscalculated. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, I'm not so worried about him, but uh, if I get petrified, That'll be it. He's got a positive affinity with me, which means his attack might succeed. Dang, he's going to kill me in one. Oof, I had a 20% chance to dodge that. That was ridiculous. I really should not have put myself in that position. I wasn't paying attention. How hard did the chocobo hit me? I've got 135 left, so he probably hit me for 135. So I could survive another one and potentially heal myself with the auto potion. So I am going to do this. I'm going to take out the Ariman. Uh, I'm going to run like hell. He's going to come heal if he can. Black Chocobo is going to come, he'll hit me, auto potion, finish off the Black Chocobo, and then the mission's practically won. Oh shoot, I didn't even have to run. Yeah, let's do it. guys has a ranged attack so I can just use my corpse buffer and eventually the squid larkin is going to fall. I'm doing a little more damage than the chocobo can heal each time and no crystal for them. turns left on the black chocobo that'll be enough to finish the squid and nearly enough to finish the chocobo if the chocobo is a coward he'll run and heal or i'll get my turn first and it won't even matter Every single square. Now, this episode might just be random encounters. Uh, no, I, I at least I'm gonna try the Zalbag fight um, when I get there. But my wife will be home from work in about a little over an hour, maybe longer. Um, so we'll see. Many benefits of being a teacher. I've got the summer off uh, so I can finally get back to this series and try to finish it this summer. Well, not try. There is no try. Only do. I'm gonna finish it this summer and as 
birds I'm afraid of because they do petrification too, especially the red one. But they are weak to earth as well. So... I'm gonna check their movement of everyone else. Okay, yeah, there's no risk. Uh, I don't want to risk not finishing the bird with an earth slash. So he would definitely die from that, just for my edification. Yeah, see, I, I wouldn't have finished him. And so, better to be next to him. But as I was saying, I, I'm a teacher, and so I got the summers off. Uh, which is why I've got now the time to finish finish this. Uh, the last couple of weeks of this summer I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV, which is easily my favorite game. Tactics is a, is a close second, uh, but Final Fantasy XIV is so, so good. Um, it's a lot of fun. Just so much to do on, on Final Fantasy XIV. Although I'm at the end game of the uh, main scenario right now, and I feel like the momentum's kind of running low for me. So I'm glad to have this as a as an alternative. And uh, as a genre, I absolutely love tactical RPGs. Um, I'm even pondering setting up a Twitch channel and just doing PS1 era tactical JRPG streaming as a just as a hobby. Let's see if there's any interest out there for them. There's been some interest for the, the for these uh, Rams that only runs um, I will say for the first several weeks the only views I had were of me just re-watching the video to make sure that it was all right uh, but uh, I, I checked in, into the app for the last uh, week or two and saw had the brand new comments uh, had a brand new subscriber um, had about 18 views across all my videos in the last 28 days, which is honestly very pathetic, but those are 18 people that weren't me, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, as long as there's uh, interest shown, as long as there's uh, people who want to consume the content and I've got the time to make the content, uh, I think this would be a fun, fun thing to do. My experience with these, uh, these trees, these int-like creatures is relatively minimal as well because I don't typically, I don't grind in these woods um, and the, really the only time I encounter them is in the deep dungeon. Um, I know they got like a leaf dance attack but other than that I, I'm really not familiar with what they can do. Mostly because by the time I get to the dungeon uh, I'm so over leveled that I just one shot everything. Something like that, but <laughs> you know, with a whole crew of people. Yeah, there's the leaf dance. Um, before I get to egress, I need to make sure to check my auto or my expression stock. forced to come to me because when when they're critical they run away unless they're the last uh, enemy 
in which case they behave more normally and they will pursue you and try to kill you. fit too. See, I like the power costume because it's got a plus two attack. I'll sacrifice 30 HP for two added power any day. Jerminus boots I got for the movement and jump uh, up. But I will make sure I've got at least one of every accessory because there will be scenarios where I'll need uh, defense armor to prevent don't act or NK armor to prevent charm. Uh, the 108 gems I'm definitely going to need to prevent the undead um, when I get to the Zalbag fight. Uh, let's get... Yeah, I've only used 28 of these so far. Didn't even make a dent on my total funds. In a normal playthrough I like to just buy 99 of everything, but... I think I'm going to be a little more economical this this go around. Although, uh, nothing says I can't have a little stock of some of these things. Um, it's probably never going to be an occasion to use them, but I'd rather have them than to get caught out. The reason I'm not buying any high potions. <laughs> Phoenix Towns I really don't need. But the high potions I'm, I'm not gonna buy because if you if you use auto potion, it automatically uses the weakest potion first. So if you have 99 potions, 99 high potions, it'll dilute your stock. Save it. We made it through a couple battles since saving. Already gained four levels, and we're not even trying to power level. There we go. One random encounter possible before we get to our dear brother. There we go. Okay. Here goes. Like I said, not really safe scumming, but I am saving if I make it past a random encounter, because good grief. I don't want to get into the story battle and then have to reload and then have to fight a random battle because I didn't save it. <sighs> and if you've been following my videos, you know sometimes these story battles, especially when you got multiple battles back to back, um, sometimes they can they can be tricky. No guards. Strange. I would challenge you, any of you to try to count how many times I've refought some of those battles. I think the worst was probably... Oh... Um, Celia and Lead in Limbury was pretty bad, but I think even worse than that was the execution ground in Chapter 2. Um, this chocobo is my brother's Zalbags. That's it. Alright. I don't know that it matters where I start, but I think I'm going to want to be this side because it'll be closer. Because uh, we gotta go under the bridge and up the stairs, and the stairs are on this side. But it's probably not gonna matter. It'll probably automatically be placed because he's gonna be talking in the story. Salback, have you gone crazy? What's this all about? Brother, 
and you call yourself a Beolve? You mean Duke Clark? He'd have died anyway. Think about it. He couldn't even fight without relying on others for help. It was a mistake for anybody like him to even start a war. It's bad to kill one's lord, but my father... I'll never forgive that. Why him? Why do you have to kill him? What? I don't know what you're talking about. The Duke Stein words. I couldn't believe them. Why, brother? Why did you kill father? Die Star! Salvax insane! Capture him! Brother! Salvax! Yeah, he's automatically placed there, because otherwise he'd be four. He'd be the fourth one from the right, and there's only three. There's only two spaces to the right of him. If it was me placing him, he'd be there. Okay. Oh well. So we gotta get him critical, and then he'll change to Adramelech. Um, and he also should deal with these knights, though. I don't remember, I, you know, just for the fun of it, when I power level, I finish everyone off and then him. So I honestly don't know if I finish him first, if the knights will remain, or if they'll die, or if they'll run away. I, I don't know. I feel like they'd remain, though, and I, I need to take care of everyone. Son of a bitch. That's going to put a damper in my strategy right there. Uh, so don't move that close. That's one thing. Ramsey, you were right. Our brother started a war and killed Lark to satisfy his own ambition. This is disgraceful and cannot be forgiven. Salbag. And he will, I'm almost certain he will only ever attack Zalbag. Uh, almost as though he's got Berserk status. Hey, he's got a nice counter ability though. So as long as he doesn't die right away. Oh wow, Samurai. That's annoying. But I'm going to be in stasis for at least another turn. Um, what a dumbass. Damn. Fools, why won't you obey? Why do you defy me? The powerful must rule the powerless ones. It's our duty. Even, even the once mighty royal family has fallen and lost their power. It's only natural for us to take their place. It's the right way to use our power. Why can't you understand? Don't you have any justice, brother? The Beolf name is only for the brave. You aren't worthy of it, brother. Justice? I'm embarrassed to think you even said that. You think such uh, pretty ideals can govern the people? Why are you able to use that sword? Why do you think the people call you a hero? It's all because of me! Because I dirtied my hands, you're here. You should be thanking me, not despising me. Yeah, he's gonna finish off Zalbag. Oof. And then everyone's gonna finish off me. This is... This... This is not good.
My guy who throws stones would be really helpful if he could just hit me with a stone. Hmm. Yeah, we need to stay out of his range. Uh, definitely. Gonna stay out of his range, gonna use guts, gonna scream. Um... That's about all I can do. Um, taking out the knights quickly, if I can, would be a good thing to do as well. Uh, I do have Ultima on, on the Guts ability. I might see if that's any good at all. It's a real mid-range, weak-ish, because uh, I don't have very high mag magic attack ability, but... We'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll see. Um. Weapon break would be nice. If you're wondering why I wasted the points on these, I didn't. Uh, I've only earned a total of 400 points, but through absorbing souls on crystallized uh, enemies, I've learned several abilities. So I've only spent 250. I would bet I spent it on power break. Everything else I learned, um, even the equip abilities, uh, I learned everything else secondhand. He only lacks monster skill to be a master squire. It's pretty neat. Um, shoot. I think for this battle, the haste ability is going to be worth it. Do I want break? I think punch art is nice, but it's weaker. If I want punch art for the chakra ability, I just as well do item for X potion. Except I don't know X potion, I don't think. Just no high potion. Uh, otherwise, I think I'm gonna rely on my auto potion and I'm gonna go in with battle skill. Mantle might not be a bad shout because it's got a 40% frontal evasion. Uh, but you can't evade lightning stabs and uh, dice starts attacks, which is all that matters. I'm going to put the Excalibur in my second hand because it's the stronger one. I'd rather, because when you attack someone, It'll show you the the damage output for the first blade only, and I'd rather estimate what I'm gonna do based on the weaker value, not the stronger value. I don't want to overestimate how much damage I can do to people. Uh, for 40 HP, I'm gonna take two attack power, and for 32 HP, I'm gonna get an extra speed bonus. I think that should be good. Um, really only doing that for the haste ability. His damage output though is going to be a lot lower. I remember that from the last time I was a square, a squire. But I need, I need to get to rescue Zao back quicker because if he gets overwhelmed, uh, that's no good. Which makes me think I should have put the monk ability on because then I could revive him. Possibly, but although I think he retreats, I think he retreats if he's. Oh no, he doesn't, because uh, in the last battle he didn't retreat. So yeah, I should have. Uh, 
<laughs> chances are I'll have another opportunity or two to to give it a go. So we'll see. Uh, and as always, I'm only reading the dialogue the first time around. If there's new dialogue within the battle, I'll gladly read it, but uh, I think we got most of the dialogue up until the point where Dice Stark will transform into Adramelech. Geomancer ability carved model would be pretty good in here because I could potentially petrify uh, the knights and they're standing in close proximity. I could pet potentially pet petrify one or two at a time, uh, which would be pretty cool. But let me see what Ultima does. One or two, that is not nothing. Uh, I'm gonna hang out down here and take out these Knights. Good God. Hope he survives a couple of attacks and gets some counters in. Oh my god, he doesn't even. He's got counter tackle? Last battle, he had the proper counter with a blade. Friggin' RNG. Uh, well, two more ultimates will finish that guy. Three more ultimates to finish that guy. Maybe more because he, I don't know, defense has nothing, uh, no effects. Well, that's good. What's your range? Uh, you can get pretty close. I'm gonna run. Yeah, if he stasises me, I'm boned. Um, Basically, the guys who attacked won't get to move. I don't even know the range on this thing. Uh, it's got a vertical one. So can't get both of those guys, so there's no point going closer, because that guy's going to get a turn, he's going to get a turn, he's going to get, no, he's going to get a turn. Uh, how close can Zalbat get? Can get there. Just four away, that's not close enough for stasis. He might be able to shove a stab me, I don't know. Ah, dang it. Well... This is just kind of a trial run anyway. I'll get the guy who's defending, but not the guy I wanted. Because uh, I could have finished the guy, that guy. Uh, but obviously he's going to move. But now I've got two who are within one shot of dying. I can just run around and pick them off like this. Uh, that's the other reason I should have picked the monk class. I could have used Chakra to restore my MP. And now he's more than one away from dying. That sucks. Come on. 
finish this guy. more shots with the Ultima. Unless I happen to absorb a crystal. Don't want to get too close to Dice Star. my ultima on just hitting one guy. Defender. Usually I steal his blade. That would actually be pretty awesome. Okay, so he can't just shove us stab me again. If all he knows is Stasis Sword and shove us stab, I should be in good shape for a while. They're gonna corner me. Good thing about the scream is it's making my magic attack power go up as well, so that's pretty nice. You know, he knows Blaster Punch too. Let's hope that's all he knows. If he breaks my swords, I'm going to be seriously pissed. Yeah, let's just call this a reconnaissance mission and see what happens when we get him to critical. Yep, we gotta get him all the way down. Okay, what happens to the knights? If you only you hadn't interfered. Evilis would have been ours, the Beolves. You fools. So that's it. Now I know. Yeah, okay, the knights go. Okay, so don't worry about the knights next time. Young fool, 
Here's a souvenir for you on your way to hell. I killed Balbanes. Yes, I did it. The Beolves finally had their chance to rule, but he blew it. That idiot. So I killed him. Even a sword master can't fight poison. Now it's your turn. You'll regret opposing me. Okay, that last battle could have been much easier if I didn't worry about the knights at all. Because uh, they do disappear. Now I just gotta defeat Adramelech. Adramelech. However you want to pronounce him. In Final Fantasy XII, I believe he's got extra vowels that make it Adramelech. Just hit and run him. Although I bet he could hit me from there, so I'm just gonna double hit him. Whatever he does, it's probably got a charge on it. So I'm only a couple hits away from finishing him. Oh, damn. Exactly 223? What kind of bad luck is that? So this better finish him. Or I could mind break him. Magic break him. Uh, it's about a 1 in 9 chance of... Well, missing both times. It's about a... 49% chance of succeeding both times. Not gonna do it. Uh, I'm just gonna see. I, he's gotta be close. I've already done a thousand damage. There we go. Not too bad. Shit. It's not, it's still not right. If only Bloody Angel were here, this wouldn't have happened. This is the end of the Beowulfs. Names don't matter. What's important is how you live your life. Alma. I must save Alma. Just like the chemist said, it's the end of the Beowulf line. You have to dig deep into the lore on this, but in chapter 2, Ramza went by the last name Ruglia after his mother. Ooh, reflect me. I'll go ahead and buy a set of these, but I probably will re equip. Um. Probably will re-equip my, my flash hat and power sleeve. Or... Well... Nah, I, I do like the HP buff. Uh, Auto-reflect is pretty cool. But he's just so darn weak. I'm gonna do the power sleeve. And I'm going to do the flash hat. We're, we're going to do that. 
I'll stay as a squire for a little while, see how that goes. Um, can't you can't beat the the monk for the damage output. May as well save over the other one. I don't need it. And let's see. I got about 30 minutes before my wife gets home. I think I can venture into. Venture into Morand, Holy City. Holy place, rather. Uh, we got the surface battle with a bunch of priests and clerics and stuff. Um, shouldn't be any issue. And then we have the underground battle, which is the one that I was warned to keep an eye out for. Honestly, don't think it's going to be as as bad as the Limbery fight with uh, Celia Lead and uh, Elmdor. You're betraying me. If you'd confessed all, I'd have kept you alive. I didn't mean to take such drastic measures, but I don't have much time left. What do you mean? I was going along with you to get the Zodiac Stones, but now that that kid, now that the kid took most of them, it was all for nothing. Spare me. That wound is deep, but not fatal. If you treat it soon, you'll be okay. Now, if you value your life, tell me where the entrance to Morand is. Orbon, a sealed magic square at the bottom of the underground library. How do I break the seal? I don't know. It might be written in the scriptures. That kid again. I'm through with you. Please spare me. getting rather close to the end of the game. We got this set of battles, and then we got a long set of battles in Orbon. And that is that, as they say. Stop! Only the priest is allowed in here. What business do you have at Moran Temple? Identify yourself. My name is Ramza, Ramza Beolv. I'm here for my sister, Alma Beolf, who was kidnapped by Vormov. Heresy, Ramza. What a fool to come so openly. I will execute your sentence here and now. Uh, let's see, I said clerics mistakenly because I was thinking of oracles, but it seems there are no oracles. There's a mediator, which is maybe what I was thinking of. So a couple of couple of uh, geomancers, one priest, who I did remember because he's the one who speaks the dialogue, and a summoner, who is going to be my number one target. Uh, mediators, pff, nothing. Geomancer could be annoying if they got uh, Tangle Vine, or Hell Vine, whatever you want to call it. Um, priest could be annoying too if he starts healing everyone as I'm trying to kill them. Well, let's see what we can do. 112. And Carmine's the only one who's going to get a turn. Let's see, that's probably... It is the priest gets a turn f first. I don't think he's going to have any offensive magic. What's his secondary ability? Time magic bastard. Oh, he just moved himself up on the list of people I want to kill. Uh, I think there's no need to go chasing rabbits that will come to me. And with 
with Excalibur on, his sl if he does slow, it won't have any effect on me. The only thing I gotta kinda worry about is if he hastes anyone else, but it's really not gonna matter because I've got haste and I'm boosting my speed, so it's gonna be fine. the one with haste. What's the range on this thing again? Four to the target. Plus one to the adjacent square. Make sure I counted that right. for the, the effect of the haste. At least I'm still going to hit two of them. I'd rather hit the summoner though. When I checked the AT list, uh, it was going right after. That should have no effect. Are you kidding me? Well, that does suck. If this stops me, it's over. Take out the non injured. Uh, the non injured Geomancer, because he's the one with the Hell Ivy. Ah, oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I could go toe to toe with all of these guys, except for this Geomancer, because if he. If he gives me Tangle Vine, I'm, I'm screwed. Hell, Ivy. Yeah, protect. No big deal. I'll just hack through you. I'm very annoyed that slow actually had an effect on me. Uh, don't move is pretty terrible, but not as bad as don't act. The Geomancer will be dumb enough to hit me in, the, in my face. Geomancer, even though I can't move, finish him off. Just gonna do Titan, big deal. That's the best he can do. He's just gonna burn through his MP, healing me. Those guys are just gonna burn through their turns, healing me. Uh, this fight is nothing with auto potion. Could have made it more interesting and. <laughs> Re equipped my critical HP up though. No, thank you. Yeah, Titan is the best you can do. Even if, it, even if I don't auto push in this, the other guy's attacks are so weak that they're just feeding me HP. And 
slow is really, really shitty. Uh, the reflect mail would have done nothing for me in this battle because... Well, I don't know, it might have reflected the slow, but uh, as far as Shiva and Titan goes, it wouldn't have done anything for me. Still got Don't Move On. I forgot about that. Ooh, that could... I mean, that could actually be pretty annoying because if I got Berserk, I can't Auto Potion. Well, we'll see how this goes. I think... As long as the summoners are low enough on his on his MP, I should be okay. But now nah, he's gonna he's gonna mess me up. That's regrettable. Oh, that's good. Okay, don't move. Is lifted. He's gonna do a weak attack. I'm gonna kill him. He got lucky on his RNG. There you go, move behind him, nice. This could be if he if the summoner comes up. And he's the closest one. If I, if I kill the summoner first, I got a chance. But... Uh, nope. If the summoner was smart, he'd stay there and have a body buffer. Shysa. Well... You know. I might get two turns to their one. I might actually do this. I don't know. One too far. He's very low on MP. He should have just hit me with his staff, but he's got me anyway. <sighs> well, that was disappointing. But very overcomable, though that is not a word. Um, and it's totally RNG as to what their secondary job abilities are. When I reload, they might not even have time magic. Um, it was very doable, even with the time magic, though. I should have should have done better. A little rusty still. Let's, let's do this thing. I still got some time. Fun fact, in the earlier episodes from months ago, anytime I would have a, a prolonged pause, yeah, that's the right file, they're both the same. Anytime I had a, a prolonged pause, it was probably due to the fact that my fiance at the time, now my wife, was texting me, um, for one reason or another in the run-up to our wedding. And so I would have to mute and address the text and then continue. But let's, let's continue this. I want to at least take one shot at the Zalbag fight just to see if it's worse than I remembered.
good thing is we don't have to read through the dialogue again. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep my distance a little bit, uh, going to scream a couple of times, raise my speed, raise my power, and then just waylay them. Geomancers are still a danger because the Hell Ivy is totally RNG whether or not they know it. Summoner is less of a danger now that I've got auto potion. I'm really not worried about him. Uh, I was more worried about his, his time magic than anything last time. Uh, although at the start of the battle I had that knee-jerk reaction of, oh no, Summoner. That's really not that bad. Okay, he does know time magic, but he knows black magic, not time magic. He's uh, just got max, basic skill, steel. Rune Blade. I have a feeling that Willy is the one that I want to take out first. Mainly because his Rune Blade is uh, not based on RNG. I'm going to wait and get my turn quicker. They'll probably attack me, the Summoner. Will. Oh, I should have ran because he's got time magic. Yeah, but he's going to do haste on his friends at a very low success rate. His faith or his friend's faith must be very low. Or very bad affinities. Well, still he hit with the 40%. Wind. I don't know what effect that is. Slow. Ah. It's annoying. Is that because of his reaction ability? Good grief. I have a gut feeling that it only triggers on the first strike, so I'm going to do it. think about using that for myself. Poison. What a wimp. Okay, so that one Geomancer is going to just be a pain to finish. Because, uh, you know, 10%. Might end up being the last guy I finish. So far, the only thing that could actually cause me to lose is Berserk. Because no amount of damage they can do is going to get me dead. So with that in mind, maybe I should take out the mediators when I get a chance. I won't get a chance for a long time though, because I don't move. 
and they will not come close enough to, to finish me, or for me to finish them, because of their guns. <sighs> and that guy is happy just using Gusty Wind, that's really pissing me off, because every time it has a chance to renew the slow debuff which is just aggravating more than anything Bahamut a little bit stronger than Titan by little I mean a lot that's still not enough to put too much of a dent on me, I, sh I shouldn't think. So long as the auto potion triggers. Hey, 93. We must have... He must have really low faith, because... Because that's really weak. Yeah, what's his faith? Okay, well, he's got the worst affinity with me, and he's only got 58 faith. So that will be why. Eight percent. That's just nuts. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream until don't move wears off. Mediators, at least in range of my Ultima. That will probably get a turn before I do. The slow wear off. Still can't move though. be weaker than Bahamut by quite a lot, so probably 60, 48, what a chump. Don't move worse off, I'm gonna tear through these A-holes. I wonder if abandon triggers on a back attack. I'm not gonna test it out because I don't wanna waste a turn, but I'm going to take out the mediators first. Ooh, 35%. You better not trigger. I have to kill that guy. There we go. 
If you're casting Don't Move again, I am going to lose my stuff. Good grief. There we go. I gotta take up this guy. <laughs> uh, can't ever have anything easy, huh? Berserks me. Uh, it's just a confluence of annoying debuffs that slowly wear you down. The slow, the don't move. Culminating in the Berserk to remove my auto potion and, and you know, some just real bad RNG. The guy's having time magic, um, obviously the guy having Berserk, but that one guy having abandoned so that I can't even kill him is pretty ridiculous. Abandoned with an elf mantle. Evasion through the roof. The weakest priest in the history of the. Ugh. It's really annoying. Cure 2, and he's doing 18. 19. Sorry. Ooh. quicker if I just restarted but like I said I'm not gonna save scum <laughs> the, the ridiculous thing is this isn't a hard battle in the slightest like the only thing that could cause anyone to lose this battle as long as you've got auto potion with a bunch of x potions the only thing is getting berserk status so that your counter ability is disabled it's ridiculous Having the Excalibur bonus in this, as long as they got time magic, seems almost not even worth it. Although I haven't been weak, so weak that I, I wasn't able to finish anyone. I to, I'll, I'll leave the Excalibur because the haste is nice as long as I stay out of range of the Geomancers on the roof 
as well as the Time Mage. Shouldn't have any problem with slow. I'll be able to scream a couple of times. Get my attack power up anyway. Um, be able to one shot any of these hosers. We're heading into overtime. Just about, but I don't mind. My wife is due home sometime, although this week she's going to be working late, which is partly why I felt okay starting as late as I did. The rest of the week I might be recording it earlier in the morning, though, just to have a nice safe buffer. I don't want to stop any uh, particular episode abruptly. I want to have a nice logical conclusion, but... Um, I will be stopping whenever my wife is here. Okay. I should safely make it past this level. Uh, I'm not going to do like I have in the past, and if I get to the next battle, um, I lose the first time. I'm going to just try and try and try again. If I lose the first time, I'll just call it good. Call it a nice reconnaissance mission. Um, and we'll pick up fresh the next time. But I should safely make it past this battle with little problem. Okay, he's got good affinity. And he's got freaking math skill? Are you kidding me? Depending on the abilities he has, he could wreck me. Is this guy got abandoned? No, he doesn't even have a re re reaction ability. He's got weapon guard, which is really annoying. Uh, but it only triggers, I believe, on the first strike. They both got ma uh, black magic. It doesn't much matter. Uh, we do have good affinity, so I'm going to see what my ultimate will do against him. 142. Yeah, two of those will finish him, so I'm going to take out that little math nerd. One more of those and he's dead. Oh my god. How cheating is that? <laughs> that is so wrong. I outlined my rules earlier and I forgot to mention using the math calculator skill super against the rules he should know better good grief if he knows don't act or stop or anything that he can use with his calculator ability I'm so screwed Um, I could not get close enough to finish him anyway, so I'm going to go this way. And even if I did hit him, he'll be cured by the, geo or the summoner anyway. Well, let's do it. Damn it. I love the RNG. Okay, I'll be able to kill my funny little calculator next. Although I probably should take out one or more of those mediators because they're the ones who've been ruining 
the run. Although you just never know with the RNG which one's going to have the Berserk ability. The uh, Insult Mediator skill. Let's see what I can do from a distance. Only 79. Let's finish this guy because I know he's he's right here and I can finish him. After that, we'll deal with the mediators. With any like they'll just attack from a distance. That's terrible affinity. Well, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna kill the one I can kill, which is the summoner. Uh, if he's got bad affinity, his chances of insulting me successfully are low anyway, so I'm not gonna worry too much about him. Are you kidding me? I didn't know axes had a slow effect. Probably the giant axe based on the coloring. one insulted me I could probably still win because their damage outputs are terrible. Death sentence a little trick here. What an asshole. Definitely want to take out that guy and not be close enough for him to yell to talk to me. Uh, but I can't right now. So I'm gonna hit and run this guy. That's terrible luck. Basically a one-third chance each time of missing. That's one-third times one-third. That's a one in nine chance of missing both. Uh, which is really not a good chance. It's about an 11% chance that I miss both of those. So the only thing that can finish me right now is probably the death sentence from that guy. If they berserk me, but he, that one's only gonna try death sentence because he's done it before. If he was gonna berserk me, he would have done it. Similarly, if that guy was gonna berserk me or do anything other than shoot me, he would have done it before. So I've only got to worry about the guy who's doing 32 damage. Uh, take him out. I can't take him out with my Ultima, but if I get next to him with the sword, I should be able to. for me to get next to him with a sword by slowing me for one and then by blocking my path so I can't actually run next to him. Oh no. 28%. That better not hit. Freaking A. My next turn it'll go to two, on the turn after that it'll go to one, and on the turn after that I'll be dead. I don't have enough turns to finish these guys. This battle is annoying. It's not hard, it's just more annoying than you would anticipate. I wonder if purification removes death sentence. I should think about having that as my
should put Monk's skill back on it as my secondary. With more versatility in it. And I'm dead as soon as my next turn starts. What a friggin' mess. Who would have thought? Mediators, the powerhouse of the battle. Lost to him twice on Berserk and once on a death sentence. Um, I don't think it would do any good to equip anything. I don't know. Let's see if there's any. Th well, I just don't want to waste the time equipping something that re pre prevents the death sentence or prevents. Um, Berserk just for those one guys on the off chance that the RNG says that they have the ability. Um, when I should, by rights, be able to just plow through them. But I am going to put the Monk ability on instead. And I'm going to double check to see if it removes um, Death Sentence. Just to see. It removes a lot of status effects. I can't look at it by learning. I gotta look at it here. Stigma magic. Petrify, dark, confused, silence, berserk. Oh, I would remove don't move, which would be worth it. Um, I can't remove berserk on myself because I'd have to be able to use it. But still, don't move. I think just that alone, it's worth it. Did it move slow? I don't think it did say slow. No. Uh, don't move, it'd be worth it. Having chakra would be nice. Um, it's just for fun, let's become a master squire. Okay. hours in playtime much much more in reality because of these unforeseen hiccups and some very foreseen hiccups Determined to get through this battle. I want to end this episode on a high note, but honestly, it wouldn't. There, there are some battles that just piss you off, and you're like, "No, I gotta beat it. I gotta beat it." This one's really not that case because it's not a case of you know, like needing to overcome it. It's just freaking RNG. I could have gone through this on the first try, and you know. Time, may, time magic not been a thing, berserk not been a thing, and it been fine. Um, just the RNG of what the, the abilities are on the mobs. Uh, totally random. Chances are they'll have something good any given time. Like the first couple times they didn't have death sentence and then they did. So, you know, they might have death sentence one time, they might have berserk another time. Chances are I'll have to deal with something, but let's not deal with math skill and time mage skill. Good. Item. Wonderful. Basic skill. Wonderful. Item. Wonderful. Counter flood. Good. 
um, steel. Abandoned, I'm not a fan of, but it's good to know that these have got it. Uh, and then these guys are really just worried about their talk skill. Okay, so no secondary abilities that I'm worried about. The only thing I'm worried about is this guy from the rooftop, from specifically these tiles, casting his elemental magic to cause me to be slowed. Other than that, should be a cakewalk. And that guy with abandon, I'm gonna have to use uh, guts. I'm gonna have to use, or I could use uh, earth slash maybe to see what that'll do against him, but I cannot use physical attacks to finish him. Because of his freaking abandon on top of his his uh, elf mantle having ridiculous evasion ability. The fact that they do have that ability makes it less likely that they'll have other abilities. So that's nice. Nice that both of them have that, because this is the first time that they both have. Uh, my physical attack is weaker than with a monk, so yeah, it's only doing 77. And 98, that's not nothing, so I'm going to use it. What a son of a gun. I'm gonna steal my equipment. How live he could mess me up. It's a stop ability. Which means I need to rush and finish that guy. mediators. If the mediators are the last thing I see, last thing I fight, the last thing I finish, then even if they death sentence me I should be able to finish them before I die. Even if they berserk me I'll definitely be able to finish them before I die. So just gotta get more bodies on the floor. Specifically, I gotta get this body on the floor.
wanted to move next to him and not two squares away because I didn't want to risk him uh, using Hell Ivy as he ran away. I don't know that he knows it, but I didn't want to risk it. That high potion's a little annoying. That Phoenix down is very annoying. That Mogri is nothing. It'll be enough to save the Geomancer though, so that is annoying. Uh, an attack in the back. I don't know whether Abandon works in the front or not, but I'm going to risk it. I'm also going to go over here and finish this guy who's got the Phoenix down. But yeah, he's got three Earth Slashes before he's dead. I'm just going to try an attack in the back. Um, I might save him for last, so I'm definitely going to get the the, the other mediator next. If he berserks me before I finish this Geomancer, that, he's going to put me to sleep. That's not bad. They're physically attacking me. They'll wake me up. Uh, it's really not that bad. So yeah, good. Uh, we're going to win this one. They're going to steal my equipment while I'm asleep. What a bunch of cowards. Eventually. absorbing some crystals and learning some abilities, but they put me to sleep before I could do any of that. There we go. He knew I was going to wake up. So he took the preemptive step.
would be annoying if I didn't have stigma magic. Fifty percent. Good grief. Now let's do it. Alma, I'm coming. Just hold on. <sighs> that took way longer than it really should have. Yes, I will save. I will save over the first one, not the second one, because I do want to reserve the right to grind if I need to, only if I need to. I shouldn't need to. I think we're going to leave things as they are. Oh, I should have put my hat on. I am missing an article of clothing. Yep. Well, slightly handicapped. This always was going to be a reconnaissance mission. Um, if I don't beat it the first time... Oh, and I should have put... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to beat it this time. Because I needed the 108 gems on to immunify uh, my zomb uh, not zombie vampire blood suck debuff because that will instantly kill me. Well, you know, uh, just because I'm so disappointed with myself about that, I might reload it once. Oh wait, that's not even this battle. Okay, so this is the battle first forgot about that. So you're Ramza. Nice meeting you. I was thinking this was the third battle already when you're underground. Um, I'd ask you to dinner, but I'm too busy. Forgive me. I don't have too much time, so let me get down to business. If you want your sister, give me the Germanic scriptures and all the zodiac stones. If you don't do what I say, your lovely sister is dead. Now hand them over. Where's Alma? Unless you show me her now, I'll not hand over the scriptures or the stones. Didn't you hear me? You have no choice. I'll say it again. Hand them over. Only the scriptures. I'll give you the stones only after I see Alma. forgot about this battle basically well it's here it's a simple curse good now that we know they're finished I could let him go but I'll get revenge for Velius and the others you deceived me duh Okay, I think I just got to get him critical. But I don't know, because I usually play this so overpowered that they don't stand chance. Why do you let Alma live? What? You even killed your own son. Why do you keep Alma alive? That's none of your affair. If you want to know, kill me. Yay, 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 yay. I really wish I had a hat on right now. Okay, that's 
see him a little not get a turn, but I think I had just as well try to attack. 90, not bad. So I did the second one. Okay, that's not the worst thing, and maybe just as well that I didn't bring my hat in. Okay, that's survivable. What's he got? That's very survivable. I really wish the auto potion triggered though. Uh, that's not survivable, but can we finish this guy? I won't be beaten here. I must escape. So that was easy. Running away. Coward. I must remember to equip things. I'm missing an armor and a helmet now. Saving. I'll save over the Holy Place one. Not over the Garland one. Equip my stuff. Equip my 108 gems. And this will be my recon mission. Uh, if I happen to win, awesome. If not, uh, this is my only try as it is well past time that my wife normally gets home from work, although, uh, as I said, she is working late this week only. No, we are not best fit. We are flash hat and power sleeve in it. Good thing I bought an extra supply of those. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's give it a go. I believe all I gotta do is kill Zalbag, which... I don't know. Could be tough. We'll see. Chapel of St. Morand Temple. more time to waste. I want to end this now, but you probably won't go quietly. I'm afraid your life must end here. My servants will be your opponents. A coffin, just the thing for you. Rest in peace. Oof, these guys, these guys know bio 2, bio 3 cause all manner of status effect. Um, this man will be your opponent. Salbag! He may be your brother, but he's joined our family. Think you can fight with him? Ha <laughs> ha! Dirty! Zalbag, kill the boy before you. Don't let him leave this temple alive. I wonder if a Phoenix Down would finish Zalbag. He is technically a zombie. Brother, Zalbag, it's me! Is that you, Ramza? What am I doing? Can't feel a thing. You're being controlled by Lukavi. I'm fighting you? Why? Go, Ramza, run, or else I might kill you. Brother! Okay, what 
kind of abilities does he have first? Uh, he's Cancer, which is bad for our affinity. He's got move HP up. Uh, speed save counter. That kind of sucks. Uh, it's going to get quite quicker and quicker the more I attack him. So kind of nickel and diming him isn't really the way to go. Uh, and he's still got his sword abilities, I think. Yeah, and the blood suck. Could hit him with a nurse slash from here, but he would hit me back. I can't hit him from here because it's a plus two vari variance. Uh, shoot. I might just scream and see what happens. This is just a reconnaissance mission after all. I'm going to wait because, like I said, I want to see what happens. He only moves into attack range. Uh, his friends did not get a turn. I think I want to take out this guy. As long as they don't petrify me, I'm fine. That's not good, though. Uh, need to take out the second one. This one, I can auto potion and only lose eight every time. The one who's doing 200 plus uh, auto potion won't even save me, so I need to. I need to take that one out. So that's a net loss of 89. Okay, yeah, this mission's very doable. Uh, I just made back 71, so yeah. Um, assuming we got good affinity, which I think we do. That should be enough with Excalibur's attack boost. Ooh, very nearly, very nearly. Oh, good. Let's uh, do a little punch art. How much does he get left? Only six. Okay. Spin fist. Compared to those mediators, <laughs> this battle is simple. Oh my god, those mediators. Ridiculous. cool if you could learn Dark Holy uh, in the same way that you learn Ultima and in the Deep Dungeon you can learn um, Zodiac or whatever they call it in this version. Yep. So just be a blow by blow until he's dead. Please, Ramza, kill me. I'm in pain. No feeling in my hands and feet. Yet it hurts all over. The scariest part is I'm slowly losing my memory. You'll be okay, Zalbag. I'm sure there's a way. So don't give up. Please, don't give up. No, hurry up and kill me. I'm in pain. I hear voices talking. 
crying, calling, taunting. Do something. Help me. Hurry and kill me. Damn that Vormov. I'm so sorry, Ramza, to make you suffer. Save all my. You're the only one who can. I have to go now. Goodbye, Ramza. Thank you. Salbag! Help, help. Hold on, hold on. Shrine. You know where they went? Where? Where did they go? Or, or bone. Or bone monastery. Somewhat anticlimactic. Um, the ending, not nearly as hard as. Not even hard. It, it wasn't. None of this was hard. I would say the hardest thing was maybe Adramelk. Um, in terms of actual. Uh, that, that wasn't even hard because he only took, you know, three hits and he was dead. Um, you know, the mediators weren't hard, they were just RNG E. They were just super RNG, um, which made it frustrating more than hard. Uh, Zalbag, not hard. Um, Vermov, maybe would have been hard if I had to kill all of them, but yeah, as it was, I only had to kill one. Um, yeah, it's a really, really smooth snailing. Not, not that bad. Um, I am going to fix my, my item. Before I forget, and I'm going to save it before I leave. But that, ladies and gentlemen, that is my last epi episode. Thank you very much to my one subscriber. Let's see if we can get some more. That would be awesome. Um, now that it is summer, I do plan on um, having a little bit more regular release uh, schedule. This one will be up by the time I've recorded the next one, so I should be able to do at least one per week uh, until this thing is done. I'm hoping to finish by the end of uh, July at the absolute latest, but honestly, uh, I don't remember how many battles there are in Norbon Monastery, but I think it's only four or five total until the end of the game. Uh, so honestly, who knows, the next episode might be the last one. So keep it tuned right here. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye.